Hello and welcome back to another lazy lesson. ISRO has successfully launched 13 foreign satellites and one Indian satellite that is Cartosat 3 satellite into sun synchronous orbit. So today we shall try and understand more about Cartosat 3 satellite, various orbits and difference between PSLV and GSLV. Well, let us first look at the details of the mission. Firstly, a total of 14 satellites were launched on board PSLV C47 and of these 13 satellites belong to the US which were commercial nano satellites and one satellite was from India that is Cartosat 3 and with this launch the total number of foreign satellites that India has launched till today has become 310. The 13 nano commercial satellites of the US were launched on board PSLV as per an arrangement made with NSIL that is New Space India Limited. NSIL is the commercial arm of the ISRO and it was formed in 2019. It works just like Antrix Corporation of the US. And its main objective is to scale up industry participation in Indian space programs. The company commercially utilizes research and development activities carried out by the ISRO in the area of space. And specifically, NSIL is responsible for manufacturing and production of small satellite launch vehicle and polar satellite launch vehicle through technology transfer mechanisms. And ISRO is planning to make NSIL a great success story, just like the Antrix Corporation of the US. Well, a total of 239 satellites were commercially launched by the Antrix Corporation Limited during the last 3 years. The total revenue from operations during the last 3 years is somewhere around 6300 crores. And going further, the latest launch was PSLV's 49th flight launch and overall 21st flight of PSLV XL variant. This is also ISRO's 74th launch from Satish Dhawan Space Center from Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh. And this is ISRO's 5th launch this year in 2019. And then what is Cartosat 3 and why is it so significant? Well, it is a third generation advanced earth observation satellite with high resolution imaging capability. Developed by the ISRO, these satellites will eventually replace the IRS series that is Indian Remote Sensing Satellite series. And Cartosat 3 has the highest resolution with pan chromatic resolution of 0.2 meters. And Cartosat 3 could be potentially used for weather mapping and cartography. It aims to address the increased demands for large scale urban planning, rural resource and infrastructure development, coastal land use, and land cover. The satellite has a lifespan of 5 years. And why this mission has assumed so much significance? Well, ISRO's space programs have been highly application specific and have given national level benefits. Today, India operates one of the largest constellation of remote sensing space based imaging satellites. The journey began in 1988 with Cartosat 1 followed by 2 2A 2B satellites and finally Cartosat 3 is in place. And the satellite has been placed in sun synchronous orbit of 509 kilometers. So let us now try and understand what a sun synchronous orbit means. Well, there are basically three types of orbits that is low earth orbit, medium earth orbit and high earth orbit. The range of low earth orbit ranges from 180 to 2000 kilometers and medium earth orbit 2000 to 35000 kilometers and high earth orbit includes anything above 35000 kilometers. And an orbit for a satellite is like a circular road where it keeps moving without falling to earth or escaping the earth's gravity. So anything below 2000 km is called as low earth orbit. The international space station operates here in this orbit. It is placed somewhere around 400 km above the earth. And even remote sensing satellites operate in this region. And special positioning within the low earth orbit is called as sun synchronous orbit. So when a satellite has a sun synchronous orbit, it means that it has a constant sun illumination through inclination and altitude. In simple terms, for sun synchronous orbits, a satellite passes over any given point on Earth's surface at the same local solar time. And because of the consistent lighting in sun synchronous orbits, scientists leverage this in various remote sensing applications. And next, we have medium Earth orbits which is located between 2000 km and 35000 km above the earth. Various navigation satellites are placed here that is GPS, GLONASS, GALILEO and many such other satellites. 
and the most common use for satellites in this region is for navigation, communications and space environment science. And next we have high earth orbits that is when a satellite reaches about 36,000 kilometers from earth's surface it enters a sort of sweet spot in which its orbit matches earth's rotation and we have geosynchronous orbit here and one notable thing here is that every geostationary orbit is a geosynchronous orbit the orbital speed of a satellite in geosynchronous orbit is same as that of the rotational speed of earth around its axis that is equal to a sidereal day that is 23 hours and 56 minutes thus a person on a point on earth will see a satellite in this point in the same place in the sky at the same time of the day every day and similarly a geostationary orbit is a geosynchronous orbit around the earth at 35,000 kilometers above the equator so that it remains stationary as seen from the earth thus a person on any point on earth will see a satellite in this orbit stationary with respect to his position just like a star in the sky and usually communication and weather satellites are placed in this orbit and here are the basic differences between a PSLV and a GSLV that is polar satellite launch vehicle and a geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle firstly PSLV delivers earth observation or remote sensing satellites of up to 1750 kgs of payload to sun synchronous polar orbits of 600 to 900 kilometer altitude and next GSLV delivers the communication satellites to the highly elliptical geosynchronous transfer orbits and the remote sensing satellites launched by PSLV orbit the earth from pole to pole and the satellites in geosynchronous orbits appear to remain permanently fixed in the same position in sky and next PSLV is a four stage launch vehicle and GSLV is a three stage launch vehicle and now based on today's discussion let us try and solve a question from prelims point of view consider the following statements 1 a sun synchronous orbit is a low earth orbit 2 the international space station operates in low earth orbit which of the above statements is or are correct comment your answers in the comment section below and from mains perspective try and write an answer on the following question highlight the achievements of isro as a pioneer in space technology you can post your answers in the comment section below. And that's it for today. Thank you.